Hey everyone, Lensmanoz here, and welcome to another First Look game. This time it's something that I've been waiting for for a very long time, and that's a game by the name of Satisfactory. So, best way of describing Satisfactory is it's Factorio, but 3D. Um, it is an open alpha weekend, so this is the alpha version of the game. Um, I signed up a, when they asked for um, alpha testers. Um, wasn't wasn't uh, lucky enough to get a key with them handing them out. They handed out around I don't know, nine thousand keys to alpha testers, but I was one of three hundred odd thousand people, who, or just under three hundred thousand people, who signed up for the alpha. So I wasn't able to get one. But the uh, the NDA has been lifted for this weekend only, uh, or from this weekend on, I guess. Uh, this is the alpha version. It is limited to only three tiers of research, but as you can see over here, early access begins on March the 19th. Um, it's only available through the Epic Launcher, which some people aren't real happy about. But um, so far, I haven't had too many issues with it downloading and any of that sort of stuff. Um, early days, but it, you know, I, I literally got the download this morning. Uh, my key will expire after this weekend, which is unfortunate, which means I'll have to go and buy the game as well. Um, Sitting at around thirty dollars US, I believe. Or I think it's uh, I think it's localized currency too on Epic Store, but for me it still shows up as US, and I'm I don't know if they have localization for Australia, but it is what it is. Um, let's jump in and do a new game. You only have one starting area in the uh, the alpha version. Um, I have I have played for probably two or three hours. Um, from when I got it, just to get a good feel of the game. I've, I've progressed a fair amount, and I'm loving it. Um, really, really enjoying the game. Hopefully you guys do as well. There is a, a bit of an intro, so we'll let this play through. I do enjoy the intro. I think it's quite good. Um, downside to this version, it is an alpha, as I said. It's not quite optimised. Um, I noticed that the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary for me the audio starters all right <laughs> that's three that's what I'm finding colors of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Sorry. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, Three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. So yeah, you you will notice some stuttering and a few bits and pieces with the audio. I, when I'm playing the game, I've ended up turning the music off because it stutters too much for me, and mainly because it is absolutely smashing my CPU. Now my specs, and I'm hoping you can still hear me over the noise. Let's wait for it. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. So as I was starting to say, my specs are below minimum specs that they're recommending. Welcome to ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. 
I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Cool. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. And so it gives us First a bunch of stuff to do. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. So you, Note, you push F to do that. Incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. So you, what that pretty much says is you get back what you've put in when Second you build something. Objective. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. No. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Alright, to do that we push C. Initial scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. So you can see there's 237 meters away. There's a, a deposit. 284. So we'll go to this one. So what that scan does, you push C and it'll um, scan the area for iron. So if you hold down C, at the moment we can only scan for iron ore. Possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Is that a lizard doggo? These things apparently can become a pet. I think that's what it is. Yeah, lizard doggo. It's the first one I found. Hey, come here. Hello. It's a doggo. <laughs> um, so there are, um, there are, at least at this point, there are aggressive animals like this guy here. And what I found, there's one there too. Uh, what I found is they generally hang around the ore deposits, um, just to give you that taste that you're, um, you know, that 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 thing to fight, so to speak. Let's see if we can annoy this guy enough to. There we go. So these these are a little bit weird. I'm still not quite up to how to how to fight them correctly because they get pretty quick. But I found that if you can dodge that first attack, you're generally okay. Um, so this Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. Not a bad setup. We've got, that looks like copper. Well, let's just do another quick scan. Is that iron? That could be iron as well. Alright, so we've got some resources here. So let's let's put our main base here. So we've got some iron. Let's grab it. Hold down E. And you'll manually grab this these Fourth outcrops are um to complete this objective the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed caution ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress yeah so before you can put a miner or whatever in here you've got to get rid of these little spires um it's really nifty <laughs> Really great looking game so far. That thing up there is a special thing we can scan later, but let's go to Q to build, and we want to build the hub. Now the hub is huge. Um, so let's move away a little bit. Uh, I can rotate him around probably that way, and we'll chuck it there. So this is our hub. Actually, I want to turn it around the other way. You have unlocked. Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective. I want to turn it around. Upgrade, storage and power. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Yeah, I want to turn it around. This way. That'll do. Yep, that way. Okay, so you can see here, um, we've got... This end, no, that ends the power. Oh goodness, I need to put it the other way. 
iron here. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's one more time. One more time. Um, very hard to work out which way is which. Uh, where's that little? Just trying to. Yeah. So this end is the one that does the power. So let's. Third times charm. Excellent. Okay, this gives us our our crafting bench and our hub terminal. Now, the quest, as it says on the left-hand side there, is to upgrade the hub using the terminal and you craft your parts you need on the bench here. So we can open our terminal. We can say we want tier zero. I want to do the hub upgrade. I'm going to select the milestone. It costs me 10 iron rods. Let's do this. All we need to do now is actually put 10 iron rods in here. So let's go to the crafting bench. I've got some iron ore that I picked up. We can make iron ingots from it just by holding down left click here. And I'm just going to work through all of these. It shouldn't take too long. I think another 20. The good thing there, it tells you on the side how many items you can make from what you've got uh, with the materials in your inventory. Iron ingot is just uh, one for one, one ore, one ingot. Uh, you can automate this later. Um, it wanted... How many iron? Ten iron rods. So you get one for one here, and it's one for two here. You can see the little slash two. So ten. Let's go in here and shift click the ten rods in, hit the upgrade hub, and it gets upgraded. So that's our level one hub upgrade. We now have a chest we can put things in. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. That guy. Feature, personal, st personal storage. Storage. Scanner Newly feature. Mentor. Buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built. Build menu and craft bench respectively. Yeah. See what I mean about the audio. It, it... Sixth objective. Hub upgrade. Construction. Note. Connect buildings to a generator for power. So this this one Note, comes with a generator. Buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. This guy here. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Yep. So we will do that. Let's grab some more iron. So, it, again, it is very similar to a start of Factoria, for example. You need to manually mine ingredients, etc. And eventually, um, you get to the point where you've got generators going, you've got all sorts of stuff going. Wow. And we can uh, automate things. So, thing you can see here, it's all under under construction. So the next level, hub upgrade two requires uh, ten iron plates, ten iron rods, and fifty copper wire. So we'll select that. It's ready to go. Um, I can push Q now, and I have a couple of things to go. I've got a smelter, which we can use to smelt down the the ore that we mine up. And we have the equipment workshop. Uh, under power, we've got power lines. Under special is a hub. So we can now make an equipment workshop, which I'm going to put over here if I can. I don't have the things I need. I need six iron plates and six iron rods. So let's go and make them. Six iron rods. Six iron plates. So I should now be able to go here and go equipment workshop and I want to put him there. Alright, so over here we can make portable miners. Portable miner takes uh, four iron plates, eight copper wires, and four cop four cables. Cables come from wires. So first thing we need to do now is hold down C. We want to scan for copper ore. Yep, so 165 meters this direction is where copper is, so these must all be all be iron, which is pretty nifty. Kinda wanna get these. Let's just go through here and hopefully don't get eaten by anything. These guys seem pretty docile. Copper's still this way. There it is there. There'll be another one of those creatures. We'll have to fight. A lizard doggo. 
That's nasty. Where are you? Where is it? I'm gonna get attacked. There it is. I'm gonna get attacked by it. He's running. Come on. Apologies if this is a bit hard to see. Oh, <laughs> you ran into the into the copper. Oh, oh, you hit me. It's not very nice, pal. Is there another one? No. Get some copper. So we will have to bring portable miners up here and um, set them up and then run belts from that once we get to the electric miners. But we've got some copper. I can sit here and do this and you'll you'll get a couple of copper each time you do it directly out of the ground manually. But the general idea is, is to try and get a bit and then come back later. I'm going to have to watch this cave because that is going to kill me. There's a doggo. Come here. I just want to pet you. Um, nice little map waypoint leading back to the base. This is very different to my first starting area too. Alright, so I'll have to come get that guy. Same deal. We need some copper ingots. Let's craft some ingots. Again, a lot of stuff has to happen manually for the first uh, the first bit of the game. As I said, I played for a couple of hours and I did get to the point where um, I had plates and rods automated and copper wire automated. So mining straight out of the ground into a crafter, uh, making up what I needed. So I needed four cables. Was that how many I needed? Let's just check that. Uh, so let's let's do two of these. Um, one of the things you can do is right mouse in list. You can add it to your to-do list. So if I go right and add, can I do a second one? Okay, so we've now got two, and it just tells you what, what items you need to make sure you have in order to do what you want. Two, three, four. Let's get a few more copper wires. Cool, and now we need eight iron plates, which I don't have enough for. Make a few more ingots. Okay. Okay, so we now have two of these guys. We can now build two of these guys. We'll come over here. Let's build... It's one, two. These guys will require power. Um, oh, sorry, no, these ones don't require power. The uh, the other ones will. I um, don't know whether to do this iron here or this iron here. What are you? Impure? I think I think all iron's impure. Yeah. So let's just go this. Grab this guy, put it in our hand. And I'll just place it down. Just left click, place down. I'm going to quickly put this back in my hand. So you'll see the nifty graphics, nifty little um, automations and stuff. And here we go. This guy now is mining. I'm getting one per second. Um, it's actually more than that. It's, well, it's less than that, one per second. Um, so this will fill up to 100 and then stop. Um, but it doesn't cost anything. It just It just runs. Um, the other thing we can do is we can actually burn in here. We can put got 12 wood. We can put that in. And that will generate some power. It generates 20 megawatts. It says consumes, but 20 megawatts um, every 5 seconds. Let's run back. You know what? I really just want to take this guy out. Oh, missed him. How did I miss? Come here. Come here. Just want just want to be friends. Go. 
Got him. Cool. This one actually has a lot. Oh, it's limestone. Awesome. So we haven't got there yet. That is the next ore that um, we need to get to. That's You can make concrete from limestone. Don't know how much of this will actually... Well, this was the same as the other stuff. There it goes. So I will need to um, break these guys down. But let's go back to the copper ore. Try not to fall down that big cavern. Which is there. They're in this end like we did before. Um, one of the cool things, doesn't seem to be a stamina um, set up. So I've, you can just run indefinitely at the moment. That may change. Um, as it is, it's alpha game. So that may change. They may decide, no, we're going to do something else with that. Cool. So we now have uh, copper being mined automatically. Still going to come back and pick it up. These are kind of like the uh, the the coal driven um, coal driven miners in Factorio. Basically, these things will just burn whatever and run. Cool. Getting a bit of copper. That should get us towards what we need. So next hub upgrade is we're going to require a decent amount of copper. We've got uh, the 50 wires we need to do there. Um, the other ones, we've probably got most of the materials. Let's just grab a little bit more and, and we'll just run back. And you notice I've been grabbing as much of the, the shrubs, leaves, twigs, etc. as I run through. Because we can turn that into biomass. We don't just need to run wood in the machine. We can uh, run other items. Alright, let's see. We need 10 plates. Let's make iron ingots. Just hold my finger on the button for a few more seconds. Um, as always with, with my first look games, all the links to, to find out more about the game will be in the description down below. Um, I am basically just going to play as much of this as I can um, while I can play it while it's while I've got my alpha key um, so what I was saying before about um, only having a certain limited number of research I'll show you that in just one second what is available so we need another we need 10 of them we need 10 of them, and then we need 50 of these. There we go. Cool. So let me just put these items in. Hit upgrade. And then we have hub upgrade 2. We've got a little bit of a room here. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner stone. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective, hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Yep. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. Cool. So we can now make, let's see, biomass. We can make biomass from leaves, so I can just craft a bunch of biomass using 10 leaves each to make six biomass biomass is a little bit more efficient than just straight wood so this is something that i, I once you get there you'll, you'll tend to use this anyway um, the next level up and as i said this has only got tier zero and then one two three uh, the alpha testers got all the way up to six uh, when you get early access i believe up to six will be available the game has multiplayer built in as well, and that will be available. It's still a bit scratchy, but um, it's there. But there's plenty more room to expand. This hub level is going to give us another inventory slot. Biomass, apparently, which I've already got somehow. Uh, and conveyor belts, ramps, etc. You can build foundations. This is going to take a few other bits and pieces. It's going to take 75 iron plates. 10 cable. 10 concrete and two reinforced iron plates now reinforced iron plates require screws so to do them we actually need okay we're making two lots 
each one of these plates requires 24 screws. So you got a reinforced iron plate, four plates, 24 screws. Okay, we can make one. Um, so I do need to run over here and we do have a flashlight. We can take our 100 iron ore, let it go on its way again. Let's have a quick look at the build menu again. We can now make the smelter and a constructor. So let's grab a smelter. It requires five iron rods and eight copper cables. We're going to need two of these. So let's make let's make ten iron rods and. A bunch of wire is that what I needed or is it cable that I need let's just double check that real quick oh it's wire so and you can see here we've got little icons so red is in green is out so eventually we're going to need um, things feeding so let's put this guy here because that's going to be the one that'll come from the iron the other one well for the copper I'm going to place him here all right, that's our source of power. This one, if I go up to it and open it up, will be for copper. This one will be for iron. And then any, obviously any ore in my inventory, this, like this iron ore here, can go in here. But this has no power. Um, same with over here, if I had copper ore on me, I could place it in here. I don't think I do, I think that's limestone. Yep, cool. So to hook up power, we use the two button, but what I'm going to need is a couple of items. I'm going to need some cable. Let's grab some of that. I'm going to need some iron rods. I don't think I'm going to need some more iron. I know I threw that in that area over there, but I don't want to grab it back out because I want to show how this works. Let's grab a little bit more iron, make a few more ingots. Right, and make a few more rods. Cool. So I'm now going to push two. So that's going to switch to power line. Now I'm going to go. I'm actually going to build. I'm missing concrete for a power pole. I knew I'd forget something. Let's grab a concrete or two. So pretty similar to. Um, some of the Minecraft mods floating around. You would have watched, if you've watched some of my channel, you would have seen them. Um, each of the power poles has a limitation. A power cable. So if I go from here to here, that will be the only thing we can do. Power pole can actually handle four connections. So if I take this power pole and place him here, and then switch back to power connection, I can go from here to here, from here to there, and from there. To over there everything will get power and these little bar things here will turn yellow or green depending on whether it's running green for running yellow for waiting and i think it's red for not power no power connected so now any ore that i place in here um will turn into ingots without me doing anything that's you now automatically doing that so we can now process lots of good stuff in here um, which won't take all that long at all really uh, so let's see if we can and we are getting near the end of a, a regular episode for me um, so I may end up cutting and making a second episode because I am really enjoying it and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it too I might do it as a little mini series um, I'm gonna try and get this next level before we run out no, that's going to be cutting it fine, but we need 10 concrete. And I'm going to put that straight in here. You're going to have the one plate. Let's make another one of them. Okay, there's the other thing. Uh, seven of ten of them. Let's make another three of them. Cool. And then I just need 75 iron plates. So I don't have 75 iron plates. 
I've got four. Um, so yes, as I said, I'm going to need to move things around a little. Let's grab this and place it in yeah. Machines can only hold a hundred. Hundred on the input, um, and a hundred on the output. From oh, depending on the machine, so this will only hold a hundred iron ingots on the output. I think same with copper. But once you get to some of the assemblers, they will actually hold more on their output. So you can have um, you can have a fairly decent amount. I think the if you're making this, for example, you can go up to almost five hundred. All right, I've got 27 plates. I kind of want to just get this next level, so we'll go a little bit over time. And this stuff, another 15, so that's another eight plates. <laughs> so you can see it does get to the point where it will um, take up a bit of your time while you, while you progress through, so I can you know, that thing over there is working, but we can make some iron ingots ourselves manually. I'm going to get to that third level so you guys can see conveyor belts. But you know what? What I'm going to do is I am going to do a part two. So, I'm going to wrap up now. I'm going to come back for the second episode once I have the plates and stuff required. And um, we'll continue on with another another part to our uh, early alpha weekend uh, f satisfactory playthrough. I am really enjoying the look of this game. This is settings for me. Uh, options here. Video settings are on 1080. It's sitting at ultra. Um, as I said before, I don't have... Um, Get off my get off my hub. What are you doing on my hub, bro? <laughs> get off. Get off. Go on. Get. Get. Run. Get out of here. Um, I don't have the specs required to play the game uh, according to their website, which the game is unoptimized. They have said that. Um, but it is running very smoothly. And uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with what's going on so far. So bear with me come back for the second episode i hope to all see you then thanks for watching comments below see you later